city bins suggest that the EQS uh, range may see the premise 435 miles. Mercedes Benz didn't rush into EV market, and even though that drew a few complaints at the time, it may turn out to be the right strategy in the long term. Now, the company must have learned from the seemingly rushed release of the EQC model, which wasn't received too well. A combination of poor specs and performance and the high price meant the electric SUV was never really an actual competitor on the market, but rather a placeholder for the EVs that were to follow. Now, for some time now, we knew the model that was going to be uh, next in line, the EQS. As the name suggests, particularly the last of the three letters, EQS is supposed to be the S-Class equivalent in the EV world. Now that's a pretty high risk, which means uh, we should definitely expect something special from the battery power sedan when it debuts later this year. Mercedes-Benz has kept the lid on it for most of the part. So not much is known. One thing the company stated pretty early, probably as the efforts to erase the memory of the EQC, was that the sedan would have a maximum range of 435 miles. Now it looks like that number was pretty settled on 447, that is. A little earlier, uh, Mercedes-Benz released uh, one more detail about the up-and-coming electric limousine, the uh, M-Bux Hyperscreen. Uh, it should be called hyper screens to be correct because you have three different displays but all underneath one piece of glass so i think mercedes is right in the first place i mean it is just one big screen because the computers are underneath the screen so they would have been however them doing it the way that they did it in the first place is accurate as it can be now this is an impressive piece of technology that makes tesla decision to use a single display um sad but that's not what we're talking about here now during the presentation mercedes obviously had to show the display and once showing it switched off uh would have made it awkward presentation so it had to include some graphics on one of the three displays in front of the driver where the instrument cluster would normally be you could um see a few vehicle stats such as the available range available charge the number um uh, of the maximum range being 300 miles which is just an estimate and it appears that it's going to be like 447 so now I'll put those together and add some math a fully charged battery should be good for 480 miles that's more than the tesla model s or the lucid air however the vehicle seems to use the you know average based on reference and that number is significantly lower than the maximum value so being over 435 is the total range. Now the only two important questions surrounding the EQS that still remains, how big is the battery? That's one of the questions. Um, is it gonna be 150 uh, kilowatt hour battery capacity? Which is being conservative. Um, and as for the price, uh, nobody expects electric S-Class to be for peanuts so we could imagine it could be it could be very very high and the technological achievements <laughs> better be up to par too Mercedes Benz can't afford to make uh, compliance EVs for much longer it needs to start uh, taking things seriously and building vehicles in volumes and the EQS just don't seem like it's gonna cut it you know it's got some great competition going again such as Tesla uh, Model S and however it is a mercedes so the quality inside of mercedes has always been par none like their the quality has always been the best that's probably the best word to use the best and so we anticipate a lot for mercedes benz so the future there's a lot to see in the future of mercedes and um and i think mercedes knows what i think that they um know what they're doing and as long as they don't build this on, um, as long as they build it from the ground up and that they didn't stick the battery and everything in, in an internal combustion uh, type of design engine and then, you know, made way with it. If they build it from the ground up, then they can really, really go against Tesla and actually compete. This is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe.